The JSAT constellation is a communication and broadcasting satellite constellation formerly operated by JSAT Corporation and currently by Sky Perfect JSAT Group. It has become the most important commercial constellation in Japan, and fifth in the world. It has practically amalgamated all private satellite operators in Japan, with only BSAT left as a local competitor. It began in 1985 with the opening of the communication markets in Japan and the founding of Japan Communications Satellite Company, Satellite Japan Corporation, Space Communications Corporation. It grew by own investment, mergers, and acquisitions of the parent companies. As of August 2016, it includes the fleets of three previously mentioned companies, Horizons Satellite and NTT Docomo and the DSN Military Network. Constellations Sky Perfect JSAT Group has gone through some significant mergers and acquisition and the JSAT constellation has grown accordingly. It has practically amalgamated all private satellite operators in Japan, with only BSAT left as a competitor. Since these mergers were the result of the opening of the communication markets in Japan, that growth does not mean that it has monopolized the segment, but rather is the go to company for space segment operation. During its history, the JSAT network has absorbed a series of fleets and constellations. Some are core constellations, some are operation for third parties, and some are joint ventures. As of August 2016, the current configuration of the JSAT fleet is this. Topic: <laughs> JCSAT. With the opening of the Japanese satellite communications market to private investment, Japan Communications Satellite Company JCSAT and Satellite Japan Corporation were founded in 1985. On June of the same year, JCSAT awarded an order to Hughes Space and Communications for two identical satellites, JCSAT-1 and JCSAT-2, based on the spin-stabilized HS-393 satellite bus. JCSAT-1, the first commercial Japanese communications satellite, was successfully launched aboard an Ariane 44 LP on March 6, 1989. Its brother, was launched aboard a commercial Titan III on January 1, 1990. On 1993, Japan Communications Satellite Company and Satellite Japan Corporation merged to form Japan Satellite Systems Inc. JCSAT. That same year, JCSAT ordered JCSAT-3, a third satellite from Hughes, using the HS-601 platform. In 1995, JCSAT obtained a license for international service, and thus became a regional operator. On August 29, an Atlas IIAS successfully launched JCSAT-3 into orbit. On December, JCSAT ordered a fourth satellite, JCSAT-4, with the same manufacturer and platform as JCSAT-3. On February 17, 1997 JCSAT-4 was renamed JCSAT-R after being put in orbit by an Atlas IIAS. On June 1996, JCSAT ordered JCSAT-5, another HS-601 based satellite, and the twin JCSAT-6 in December, from Hughes. By September 1997, both JCSAT and Space Communi Communications Corporation SCC had requested the 110 degrees east position. 
the Japanese government made both companies share the 110 degrees east position, and thus both made a joint order on November 1998 for NSAT 110 from Lockheed Martin. It was also called JCSAT-7 by JCSAT, and SUPERBIRD-5 by SCC. On December 2, an Ariane 44P successfully orbited JCSAT-5, which became JCSAT-1B. JSAT-6 was rechristened as JCSAT-4A after successfully being injected in its transfer orbit by an Atlas IIAS on February 16, 1999. In 2000, the company name was changed to JSAT Corporation and was listed on the first section of the Tokyo Stock Exchange. In April of that year, JSAT ordered JCSAT-8 from Boeing Satellite Development Center which had acquired the HS-601 business from Hughes, to replace JCSAT-2 at the 154 degrees east slot. NSAT-110 was successfully launched October 6 by an Ariane 42L, at which point it was renamed JCSAT-110 and Superbird D, an Ariane 44L successfully launched JCSAT-8 on March 28, 2002 from Guiana Space Center. Once successfully deployed, it was renamed JCSAT-2A. JSAT switched satellite suppliers again and on April 30, 2003 awarded an order for JCSAT-9 to Lockheed Martin and its A2100AXS platform. A hybrid satellite with 20 C-band, 20 Ku-band, and 1 S-band transponders, it was expected for launch in 2005 for the 132 degrees east slot. A year later, on April 20, 2004, JSAT ordered a second satellite from Lockheed, JCSAT-10. Based on the A2100AX platform, it would have a C-band and Ku-band payload and was expected to occupy the 128 degrees east slot after its planned 2006 launch. On October 3, 2005, JSAT ordered a third A2100-based satellite from LM, JCSAT-11. It would also have a C-band and Ku-band payload, and would be launched in 2007 to act as a backup for the whole JSAT fleet. During 2006, JSAT successfully launched two satellites. On April 12, 2006, a Zenit 3SL successfully orbited JCSAT-9 from a platform on the Pacific Ocean. JSAT had leased some transponders to NTT Docomo to be used as N star D. Once in its 132 degrees east orbital position, it was known as JCSAT 5A and N star D. Then, on October 11, an Ariane 5 ECA launched JCSAT 10 along Syracuse 3B into a transfer orbit. Upon successful deployment at 128 degrees east longitude, it was renamed JCSAT-3A. On May 1, 2007, Intelsat put the order for the Star 2-based Intelsat 15 satellite to Orbital Sciences. In a business deal, five of its 22 Ku band transponders were sold to JSAT. Under this arrangement, Intelsat 15 became JCSAT 85 for the JSAT payload. Since it was to be positioned at the 85 degrees east longitude, the almost 19 year streak of successful JCSAT launches was ended when a Proton M, Breeze M failed to orbit JCSAT 11 on September 5, 2007. A damaged pyro firing cable on the interstage truss prevented the second stage from controlling its direction, and the rocket and its payload crashed into the Kazakhstan steppes. Being lucky in misfortune, JCSAT-11 was simply an on-orbit backup and thus it had no operational impact on the fleet. 
The same day of the launch failure, JSAT placed an order with Lockheed for an identical replacement, JCSAT-12, for launch in 2009. On September 18, 2007, JSAT announced an agreement with BSAT to jointly procure an hybrid broadcast and communication satellite. Thanks to a decision of the Japanese government that effectively lifted a ban on such mixed satellites, both companies would share a spacecraft to act as backup of JCSAT-110 on the 110 degrees east slot. Named JCSAT-110R and BSAT-3C, it was to be launched in 2011, and it would be managed by BSAT. On September 19, 2007, they closed a deal with Arian Space for a launch slot with an Ariane 5 for its launch. On March 2008, SCC became a wholly owned subsidiary of Sky Perfect JSAT Group. At the Sky Perfect JSAT board meeting of August 6, 2008, it was resolved to merge Sky Perfect Communications, JSAT Corporation and Space Communications Corporation. This consolidated the Superbird fleet into JSAT and created the fifth satellite operator in the world at the time. On December 15, 2008, JSAT and BSAT placed a joint order with Lockheed for another A2100 based satellite. Designated JCSAT-110R by JSAT and BSAT-3C by BSAT, it was to be launched by an Ariane 5 in the second quarter of 2011. The satellite would have two 12 ku band payloads, one for each of the owners. On April 16, 2009, JSAT made its seventh order for an A2100 based satellite from Lockheed, JCSAT 13. It would feature 44 ku band transponders with two steerable antennas for on orbit reconfiguration. It was to be launched in 2013 for the 124 degrees east slot where it would replace JCSAT-4A. The next day, April 17, Arianespace announced that they had secured the contract to launch JCSAT-13 on an Ariane 5 ECA. On August 21, 2009, an Ariane 5 ECA successfully orbited JCSAT-12 along with Optus D3. Upon reaching orbit, JCSAT-12 was renamed JCSAT-RA, which functions as an on-orbit backup. On November 30 of the same year, a Zenit 3 SLB successfully launched Intelsat 15, JCSAT 85. On August 6, 2011, JCSAT 110R, BSAT 3C, and its launch companion Astra 1N were successfully put in orbit by an Ariane 5 ECA. On May 15, 2012, again on an Ariane 5 ECA, JCSAT-13 and VINASAT-2 were launched into orbit. After the launch success, JCAST-13 was renamed JCSAT-4B. After reaching the 124 degrees east, it was commissioned into service on July 10, replacing JCSAT-4A. On June 11, 2013, SSL announced that it had been awarded a contract by JSAT to manufacture JCSAT-14. It would be a 10 kW satellite with 26 C-band and 18 Ku-band transponders with 15 years of expected life. It was scheduled for launch in 2015. On January 10, 2014, JSAT announced that it had signed a launch service contract with SpaceX for the launch of JCSAT-14 aboard a Falcon 9 rocket. 
The expected launch date was the second half of 2015. On April 2014, SSL announced that it had been awarded a contract by JSAT to manufacture two satellites, JCSAT 15, a 10kW satellite to replace NSAT 110 plus expansion capability, and JCSAT 16, an 8.5-kW satellite with KU band and CAR band and payload to be used as a backup to the existing fleet. On September 8, Arianespace announced that it had signed a launch service contract for the launch of JCSAT-15 aboard an Ariane 5 ECA rocket. And on September 10, 2014, JSAT announced that it had signed a second launch service contract with SpaceX for the launch of JCSAT-16 aboard a Falcon 9 rocket. The June 28, 2015 failure of Falcon 9 Flight 19 meant a delay of at least six months on the Falcon 9 launches. On February 3, 2016, Lockheed Martin announced that it had been awarded an order for JCSAT-17 for delivery in 2019. Because of its configurable S-band payload, it would be able to redirect capacity to concentrate on disaster relief efforts or other high-volume events. On May 5, 2016, at 521 Coordinated Universal Time, the Falcon 9 successfully launched JSCAT-14 to a geosynchronous transfer orbit. The rocket's first stage subsequently landed on an autonomous spaceport drone ship. The next day, SSL announced that the satellite had deployed the solar arrays, was in full control, and was performing orbital maneuvers to reach its operational position. Renamed JCSAT-2B, it was on track to reach its 154 degrees east orbital slot, at the scheduled August 14 at 5.26 Coordinated Universal Time, SpaceX successfully launched the JCSAT-16 satellite into orbit on a Falcon 9 rocket. While JCSAT-16 was supposed to serve as on-orbit backup at the 124 degrees east longitude position, it will be rushed into service at the 162 degrees east position to replace Superbird B-2, a satellite past its design life. Originally SUPERBIRD-8 was supposed to replace Superbird B-2, but a mishap during transport to the launch site in March 2016 meant that it would be delayed between one and two years. <laughs> Space Communications Corporation Space Communications Corporation SCC was founded in 1985, the same year as the original companies that later formed JSAT. On 1986 SCC ordered four spacecrafts from Space Systems, Laurel, Superbird A, Superbird B, Superbird A1 and Superbird B1. On June 5, 1989 Superbird A, the second private communications satellite of Japan was launched aboard an Ariane 44L along DFS KOPERNIKUS-1. On February 22, 1990 Superbird B was lost when the Ariane 44 LP that should have orbited it along BS-2X failed during launch. Superbird B-1 was completed in just 19 months and successfully launched on February 26, 1992 also aboard an Ariane 44 L. The last of the initial batch, Superbird A-1 was launched on December 1 of the same year, thus completing the first phase of deployment of the SCC fleet. SCC switched satellite suppliers and on 1995 ordered a satellite from Boeing, Superbird C. On July 28, 1997, Superbird C was orbited by an Atlas IIAS. On 1995, SCC obtained a license to offer communication services in the international market and thus became a regional operator. 
On April 6, 1998, SCC ordered a second satellite from Boeing, SUPERBIRD-4. On February 18, 2000 SUPERBIRD-4 was orbited by an Ariane 44 LP, at Chich Point it was renamed as Superbird B-2. By September 1997, both JSAT and SCC had requested the 110 degrees east position. The Japanese government made them share that position and thus both made on November 1998 a joint order for NSAT 110 from Lockheed Martin. It was also called JCSAT-7 by JSAT and SUPERBIRD-5 by SCC, but was later rechristened as JCSAT-110 and Superbird D once it was on orbit. NSAT-110 was successfully launched on October 6, 2000 by an Ariane 42L. On September 2001 SCC ordered SUPERBIRD-6 from Boeing. It was launched on April 16, 2004 by an Atlas IIAS that injected in the supersynchronous orbit specified by the satellite manufacturer, at which point it was named Superbird A2. But the orbit analysis had failed to take into consideration the influence of the Moon at such high apogees and the perigee started to drop dangerously fast. Most of its propellant had to be spent and the solar panels suffered damage that reduced the power production. It was never commissioned into service. On November 1, 2005, SCC orders its first satellite to be built in Japan, the SUPERBIRD 7 by MELCO. It was successfully launched along AMC 21 by an Ariane 5 ECA on August 14, 2008, at which time it was renamed as Superbird C2. On March 2008, SCC becomes a fully owned subsidiary of Sky Perfect JSAT Group. On the Sky Perfect JSAT board meeting of August 6, 2008, it was resolved to merge Sky Perfect Communications, JSAT Corporation and Space Communications Corporation. The merger would see Sky Perfect absorb JSAT and SCC and both legacy companies dissolved. This consolidated the Superbird fleet into JSAT and created the fifth satellite operator in the world at the time. N-Star N-Star was created as a joint venture between JSAT, NTT, NTT Communications and NTT Docomo for the supply of these latter two WIDESTAR satellite telephone and data packet service. JSAT would handle the satellite side of business and NTT Docomo would operate the payload. Two identical satellites were ordered on 1992 from Space Systems Laurel, NSTAR A and NSTAR B, for 1995 and 1996 on orbit delivery. They would be switchboards in the sky, Having S band, C band, CAR band, and KU band payload, N Star A was successfully launched aboard an Ariane 44P on August 29, 1995. Its twin, N Star B, launched on February 5, 1996, also aboard an Ariane 44P. The satellite telephone service was operational in March 1996. On March 2000, the Packet Communications Service was introduced. On March 2000, JSAT received the NTT communications interest in the NSTAR A and NSTAR B. On October 1999, NSTAR C was ordered by NTT Docomo from Lockheed Martin and Orbital Sciences Corporation. Orbital would supply the spacecraft and procure launch services and Lockheed would deliver the payload and act a main contractor. 
The satellite was successfully launched on July 5, 2002, along Stellat 5 on an Ariane 5G. On August 2003, the JSAT acquired the NTT Docomo interest on N Star A and N Star B, whom then leased them back. JSAT ordered JCSAT 9 from Lockheed Martin, and on May 2003, leased some transponders to NTT Docomo to be used as N Star D. JCSAT-9 successfully launched on April 12, 2006 aboard a Zenit 3SL and was rechristened JCSAT-5A. It enabled the new service WIDESTAR2 and deprecated the original N Star A and N Star B. During 2010, Sky Perfect JSAT Corporation acquires N Star C, completing the transfer of NTT orbital assets and management to JSAT. <laughs> DSN Military Network JSAT along NEC, NTTCOM and MEDA Corporation formed a joint venture called DSN Corporation. On January 15, 2013, DSN Corporation announced that it had closed a contract with the Ministry of Defense to execute the program to upgrade and operate X-band satellite communications functions, etc. The contract is a private finance initiative, where private funds, management and technical capabilities are used to upgrade and operate the Japanese military X-band satellite network. Based on this program, DSN Corporation will manufacture and launch two satellites plus perform the necessary upgrades to ground control stations. It will also operate, manage and maintain the facilities and equipment through fiscal years 2015 to 2030. The total program cost was estimated at 122,074,026,613 billion 74 million 26,613 yen. The plan called for the launch of the first satellite on December 2015 with a start of operations on March 2016 and a termination of operations on April 2030. The second satellite was expected to launch in January 2017, starting operations on March 2017. The program and the operations of the second satellite were expected by March 2031. JSAT role is the procurement and general management of the satellites. The first satellite, DSN-1, is actually an additional payload on one of JSAT's own satellites, SUPERBIRD-8. The second satellite, DSN-2, is a dedicated spacecraft. On April 25, 2014, JSAT announced that it had placed an order with MELCO and its satellite platform DS-2000 for its SUPERBIRD-8 satellite. It would replace Superbird B2 and be positioned on the 162 degrees east orbital slot. On an earning revision, JSAT disclosed that they had confirmed container deformation after SUPERBIRD 8 arrived to its launch site. On July 2016, it was published that a May 25 mishap during air transport had delayed the satellite launch by an estimated two years. A dislodged tarpaulin had blocked the bleed valve on the satellite container and the spacecraft had suffered from over-pressurization damage. <laughs> Horizon satellite. Horizons Satellite was originally an equal share joint venture with Panamsat. It ordered its first satellite, Horizons 1, Galaxy 13 from Boeing in middle 2001. It was a 4T spacecraft with 24 C-band and 24 Ku-band transponders. It had a 10 kW power generation capacity and 15 years of expected life. 
It was successfully launched on October 1, 2003 aboard a Zenit 3SL rocket from the Ocean Odyssey platform in the Pacific. On August 30, 2005, Orbital Sciences announced that Horizons Satellite had ordered a small satellite based on the Star 2 platform, Horizons 2, for the Panamsat licensed orbital slot at 74 degrees west. It would carry 20 Ku band transponders, generate 3.5 kW of power, weight around 2.3 t, 2.5 tons, and was expected to be launched in 2007. The late 2005 takeover of Panamsat by Intelsat did not diminish the relationship and, in fact, strengthened the alliance. On December 21, 2007, Horizons Satellite used an Ariane 5 rocket to launch Horizons 2. And, outside of the Horizons Satellite, JCSAT and Intelsat launched the joint satellite Intelsat 15, JCSAT 85 on November 30, 2009, aboard a Zenit 3SLB. On November 4, 2015, JSAT and Intelsat made a joint statement that they would add a new member to their Horizons joint venture. The satellite, called Horizons 3E, would be based on the Intelsat Epoching platform, featuring an optimized C-band and high-throughput Ku-band payload it would offer mobility and broadband connectivity services in the Asia-Pacific region. It was expected to use the 169 degrees east orbital slot and launch by the second half of 2018. This would be the fourth joint satellite, along the other two Horizons satellite spacecrafts, Horizons 1 and Horizons 2, and the separately co owned JCS 8085, Intelsat 15. Since this would be an investment within Horizons, it would not be considered a capital expenditure of the parent companies. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Satellite fleet. JSAT usually has a name for the satellite's orders, and once commissioned in orbit, they get rechristened to a new definitive name. This is a list of the historical satellite projects. See also Broadcasting Satellite System Corporation, the only other significant Japanese satellite operator Intelsat, a major operator in the satellite communication market, with significant alliances with Sky Perfect JSAT Group NTT Docomo, a major player in the mobile communication Japanese market, with significant alliances with Sky Perfect JSAT Group